Hey guys, welcome into Yes We Can Outdoors. Uh, my name is Mike Blanda. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you're like me and you do love to get outdoors and you realize that sometimes the equipment can get rather expensive and trying to find that budget friendly item could be a key to getting a couple of pieces of item or just one expensive item. So I've been on the hunt for a while, I've tried a lot of different kind of gear. And if you're like me, trying to find that balance of a good quality product, but budget friendly, you're gonna like this episode. Today, we're gonna go over three key items that I have found to be budget friendly and really good on the trail. So stay tuned, and let's get this going. Pack up, ready to go. equipment and gear that you can buy on a budget that'll get you going I'm gonna go over a sleeping bag I'm gonna go over a cook pot I'm gonna go over an amazing down jacket for you piece of equipment that I have personally used right here in these beautiful Simi Valley mountains all right guys today the first budget friendly piece of gear equipment I want to go over is the Gritter Titanium Cook Pot. Now keep in mind, just because it's budget friendly does not mean it's cheaply made at all. I've used this thing on numerous trips and I love this thing. So it's perfect for cooking water, if you just need to boil some. If you want to use it as a cup for coffee or tea, you can do that. Um, I love the additional handle up top and the two side handles that pop out. It does come with the lid, with the top handle, uh, to grab, take it off, to prevent your hand from getting uh, burned. My stove in here and my um, lighter, along with my fuel right here inside of this cook cup. So this thing comes in under $30. At retail sale is $29.99, or retail sale, retail price is $29.99. But from the release of this video, for the next 30 days, if you go to checkout, go to the discount, uh, section type in code yes we can 15 I'll write it all down in the bottom of the description you're gonna get an additional 15% off an already budget friendly high quality cook pot which will put it around 25 or 26 dollars so I use this is for free by the way okay this isn't even one of my three that I'm gonna talk about today I use the fire maple 300 and this thing I believe is $30 or so I'll put the, the total dollar amount right here somewhere um, but both of these combined, you're gonna be under $60 for full cook setup. I did a video on four cook pots recently. I'll put a link up here to that video if you wanna check that out. Be presently surprised how quick this cook pot boils water. But I put it to the test. I wanted to see how fast this cook pot would boil two cups of water, and I was blown away. So this titanium cook pot is a very good value for its cost. Uh, for its price, it's budget friendly, it's titanium, uh, can't go wrong with this cook pot to tell you the truth. Okay, my second budget item is the Decathlon. They're made out of Europe. This is, this is called the Decathlon. I think it's called the MT100 for claws. I think a lot of people also call it the, uh, the Trek 100. Uh, I have had this jacket now. This is an 800 fill down jacket for over a year now, and I have been so surprised of this. I've had it in the 20s. I've taken this thing to Yosemite. I took this thing to the frigid cold in Joshua Tree. I've had this thing in the 20s. Uh, it's listed to go down to 23 or 25 degrees. Uh, keep in mind, you definitely want to wear a mid-layer at that cold temperature, but this thing right now of this video is $80, 800 fill. This thing comes in at 10 ounces. It packs in itself in its left pocket. Has a little tab here if you want to. But my wife has this jacket. I have this jacket. Uh, it comes with the hood. It's actually really stylish too. So I've actually worn this out and about. But let me put this thing on and just kind of go over a couple features of why I think this is a great budget friendly jacket. Okay, so one of the interesting things you'll know right away is the zipper is on the left side. Uh, it's made in Europe. It's not a female jacket. They do make female jackets, but it just zips up on the left side. I don't, I don't know why, but a couple of cool things is there's actually a, um, these elastic um, wrist uh, bands, I guess, that are inside the jacket. So if you take a look, there's these elastic bands. So it'll actually keep the breeze from going into your jacket and up your arm. 
um, which is really nice. It zips up nice all the way to your chin, so if you want to cover your chin or even your, your mouth uh, when it's frigid cold, you can do so. The zipper's really nice and easy. I have other down jackets that are way more expensive than this without even a hood. So to have a down jacket for $80, have a hood and cover your mouth is absolutely insane to me. I don't know how they do it. I challenge you to find a down jacket even under $150 that does what this jacket can do. Cause I'm telling you for 80 bucks, this thing is actually incredible. So there's a, a cinch cord right here on the side if you want to tighten up the bottom of it to keep it from coming up. Nice zip pockets. Couple nice zip pockets right here. Nice deep pockets. So this is an 800 fill um, jacket. So uh, the baffles are really, really nice. Um, I don't feel a whole lot of um, wind getting into it on mild wind. Um, when it gets super windy, like it did in Yosemite, I have a raincoat, windbreaker to prevent that breeze from hitting the, the down. Um, but honestly, the thing about this thing for $80 is, if you have a $200 jacket, which is very common, a $300 down jacket, which is common as well, and you get a snag or a pull or a cut or a tear, you're just out of money. And for 80 bucks, I have no problem. If this thing gets torn a little bit, I'll go buy another one. Um, again, this is my, this is the only one I've had so far. I've had this thing for over a year. I've taken this thing camping. I've walked around the town with it. Uh, I've took it backpacking. And this thing continues to impress me. Also on the zipper, when you're zipping it up, there's an additional little layer here to prevent wind from um, coming in. You guys can see that. So as you're zipping it up, it's just a little bit of cover under it that prevents that wind breeze from going inside that zipper. So if you've had this jacket, or you know someone that does, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about this jacket. I also like athletic build uh, down jackets, as you probably know. Uh, just very nicely made. Slims right under my, my armpits, tight down to uh, my waist. I've loved this jacket. I bought this thing when I believe it was $100. I think it was $99.99, and I don't know what happened. I don't know how it got cheaper, but it is as of today. When I looked it up, it was $80. So I'll put a link to all the items that I'm going over today down below in my description. You can go ahead down below, click on the link and take a look for more additional information if you'd like. Uh, this jacket was actually designed for backpacking. So the lightweight, the packability, the compression of this jacket was made for guys and girls like you and I that are out backpacking that need to have warmth, but keep in mind that packability and weight. This thing does come with 2.8 ounces of down stuffing inside of it. And what the down stuffing means is between these little baffles, they shove all the down inside of this throughout the jacket evenly to keep it nice and warm. And it is at 2.8 ounces of down. So the 2.8 ounces of down fill is for uh, a medium jacket. Okay, so if you're curious about the sizes, these do run a little small. Um, I, I feel like I like athletic build type clothing. I went medium, I had to exchange it, I went to the large. So this is a large which fits me great. I'm 171 pounds, I weighed myself today. I'm five foot seven and a half, almost five foot eight. But uh, I would recommend if you generally wear a medium or large, I would go one up. Okay guys, and for the third budget item that still comes with high quality is the Kelty Cosmic Down. 20 degree bag. This is my third budget friendly item. I am really shocked. I just got back looking at prices. I'm really, really shocked. This has 550 duck down fill in it. This thing is rated 20 degree extreme weather. So comfort level, you're looking at about in the mid thirties. I have been in the upper twenties in this bag. I'm gonna try to find a clip and post it, but I had, I did have a liner, but it was still in, an amazing bag and it was right there of just being comfortable so if you're looking for a, a high quality first maybe first you know sleeping bag while you're backpacking this comes in about two pounds and ten ounces as well so it's not super heavy 
Uh, you're looking at an incredible bag. I really, really believe it. My wife has used this now. Pour it in my head. Like, I like the fact that I can put my head in there if my head gets cold. Because usually I would pack myself a beanie when I go camping, but this is backpacking, so you want to minimize. I recommend this mummy bag if you like to be tight and tugged in. Um, I personally do, but then when I get hot, what I love is that I can unzip the side um, and it's just air it out a little bit and it still feels great. I've since gone to a quilt, but I'm still, still a huge fan of this bag. Okay, so let's get into a couple things of why I like this bag. This zipper can actually rotate from the outside and also on the inside, which is pretty cool. Um, and as you can see on the zipper, this fabric uh, right under the zipper is actually really, really thick. Uh, it protects the back from getting caught on the material, this fabric right here, as you're zipping it up. So as you're zipping it up or unzipping it, it's not gonna get caught and tear the fab, caught and tear the fabric. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's just really like Kevlar type feel to it. Um, and it's not gonna get caught. I've, I've never gotten this bag caught. The only, actually I take that back. On the outside, of, one time I did get it caught on the outside of the bag. Um, wasn't a big deal, but it, this thing is, it zips perfectly. Um, the collar, there is a, um, a drift collar in here too to kind of keep that, that wind or that cold weather, you know, this will go around your neck. It's kind of keep you nice and cinched. It has a really nice um, cinch on it to get you nice and snuggly uh, if you want, if you're in extreme temperature. And the insulation on the head is really, really good. Um, it tightens down really nice. It's really comfortable on the inside of the head. Okay, I, I love the internal pocket because if it's really cold, your electronics will lose battery or drain battery easier. So it's really nice to be able to put your phone in the pocket. Um, nice deep pocket. You can actually put your phone in there. Um, you don't want your uh, filter to freeze over. So if you have maybe a Sawyer or a Sawyer Mini, just make sure you maybe put it in a bag or something that so water doesn't leak. But that also could fit in here too. Um, and you can zip this up to keep it nice and warm. You can also fit a power bank in here too. I put my power bank in here as well. So it's really nice to have uh, you know that little pocket in there to, to put stuff in to keep it from freezing over. So the foot box, um, actually you can get your toes nice and pointy up here too. You can see a little bit of the, the, the toe box as it kind of comes up over here. Um, so let me talk a little bit about the outside shell. Okay, so the outside shell is a 20 denier nylon. And nylon is good because it helps with abrasion or scuffles or if you're you know rubbing it against the ground or something like that. It's not gonna easily tear or break or rip. Uh, so it comes with a, a 20 denier nylon shell. The inside uh, is actually a 50 denier polyester. Uh, polyester actually helps absorb sweat a little bit more, so it dries quick and easy versus a nylon. Uh, so if you do sweat or if there is some sort of um, condensation buildup inside of your bag, um, it will absorb much better than a nylon. The, denier, the 50 denier polyester on the inside is a higher poly is a higher denier polyester because it's not as strong as a nylon is, which is the 20 denier on the outside. So a 50 denier nylon on the inside is going to uh, help strengthen the inside if there's any sort of you know rips or anything like that. But it does help with the um, the quality of the bag, having it absorb any type of moisture, any kind of sweat, things like that. Um, but also keeping it, you know, still in a solid foundation. It's still high quality bag. I've had this bag for quite a while and if I'm not mistaken, I definitely paid over 150. Um, I didn't look it up, but I'll probably guess around 160 or so. I did buy this from Backcountry. So for them to have that price that low is actually really incredible. Um, it's done really well. I've never washed this thing. Um, I do hang my bags. There's a couple little um, loops here to hang it. So I do hang my, my sleeping bag just to keep them uh, the longevity of it, not to keep it all smashed and mush, uh, mushed up. Let's it air it out. Um, also keeps the fluff in the down as well. It does come with a, uh, a stuff sack if you wish. I did get the regular. Regular is around six foot, maybe six one. So if you're a, a taller female or gentleman, you may want to look at the long one and all the specs that I gave would be a little bit different. But for most of you out there, you're probably going to be under six foot, under six one. And for this, for that dollar amount, this is a steal of a bag. Again, my wife went on her first backpacking trip and I put her in this. 
and she was so warm in this bag she had to unzip it so uh, for your dollar this is a great bag all right so thank you guys if you haven't seen my other videos I have tons of other videos out there with different type of equipment uh, different kind of trails I'm super excited I have some I have three planned trips so far I don't want to ruin the surprise one of them I just can't wait to get film out for you guys um, otherwise take a look at my other content like subscribe if you have any of these pieces of gear if you have the gritter cook pot if you have the decathlon jacket or if you have the cosmic kelty down sleeping bag leave a comment let me know how you like that equipment or am I just way off on my findings of this budget-friendly yet good quality product leave a comment say Mike you're full of it or hey Mike I agree with you that's great product great advice I love to hear from you guys uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in when someone asks you to get outdoors and go backpacking you say yes we can thanks guys mm -hmm.